University, the Louisiana University closest to the coast, where for the past 75 years, nearly 80% of our students, faculty, and staff have lived in or are native to a Louisiana coastal parish, and where Louisiana's future coastal center will be built, dedicated to research and learning focused on solving the coastal problems facing our homes, our backyards, our communities, and our culture. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. We present the original legal documentary, Resurgence from Island to Republic. Mm -hmm. It took a lot. Um, working on this documentary with Vesna, we've been over about a year, I believe, we've been working on it. Um, just gathering all the footage that we can and trying to find the help, the interviews, uh, people who are willing to talk to us. Uh, it's been it's been interesting uh, process because it's really just the two of us that worked on it uh, with the help of uh, ZZ and uh, Mitzi. They, they helped us out. It, it's been an interesting process uh, working just with the limited budget that we have, the limited equipment that we have, um, but we made it work. I'm glad to see the final product that we uh, had tonight, and I think we did pretty well. It was definitely an emotional, emotional journey, I'd say. Um, you know, just hearing the stories along the way, it's, it was really hard. It, it was really sad. You know, I live in Lockport, and we had a lot of um, damage to our house um, because of Ida. So. Just to hear stories along the journey, it's it was it was really hard, but you know we did it, and I'm I'm really grateful, you know, for everybody, you know, contributing and, and giving us you know uh, footage of you know Hurricane Ida, it it really means a lot to us, and you know the university, the coastal center is going to be a big hit, and I'm really excited. Hurricane Ida, I stayed for it. I was with my parents. Uh, our roof blew off, our chimney blew off, and. It was, it was very traumatizing, honestly, and being able to tell this story hopefully makes people realize how serious, you know, these storms are and with the loss of wetlands, it's, it, we, we can't keep taking these hard storms, you know. The wetlands stop the storms from getting as strong as they do, and I believe that if we can figure out a way to keep saving our wetlands, it would be able to have these smaller storms that the rest of the city can handle. And, uh, I hope this message gets out there to where people start taking it seriously. Well, more serious because we need to keep doing more. Um, we need to be able to be able to save more land, and that way we don't have to keep moving up north. Um, with Nichols State University opening up their coastal centre, it's going to be such a great opportunity for students. Um, you know, students are the future, so it, it's going to be really good for the coast. The community comes together. With Bayou Community Foundation, they, they did so much to make this happen. It's been a, a, a complete pleasure to work with Andrew through, you know, throughout this Ida documentary. We've learned a lot together and um, we've seen a lot together. So I'm very grateful to um, have the opportunity to work with Andrew you know, during this. So thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it, bud. It's been fun working with Vesna. I don't think you'll ever find another crew just like us. Uh, we like to have fun while we, while we film, and uh, we've been able to make a lot of friends along the way. Been on a lot of journeys from Grand Isle all the way up to Lafourche and Terrebonne. Uh, it's definitely been a wonderful time trying to make it. Uh, it's an interesting time, but I, we pulled through. And honestly, I think that's the best thing. Nobody can ask for anything more. Um, working on with a limited equipment, limited budget, and we honestly, it amazes myself uh, that we were able to actually complete it. I have plans on trying to get into some film festivals to kind of get it outside of Louisiana um, to try and hopefully spread that message more and maybe even get somebody else to make a, a better production, you know, with a bigger team and uh, more finances. So uh, I know that uh, I hope to see it in some festivals out there. Um, and uh, Nichols will be soon to release it on YouTube. Bayou Community Foundation is delighted to be a funding partner for this documentary resurgence from Ida to Recovery. It is our goal as our community recovers from Hurricane Ida to help our communities build resiliency and sustainability. And this 
documentary um, was a wonderful way to showcase our vulnerable coast in Lafourche, Terrebonne, and Grand Isle, uh, the threat we face from hurricanes, but more importantly, our commitment to continue living here, rebuild, and strengthen the communities that we call home. As this was the first time I saw it. It was a premiere for me as well, and um, it was so inspiring. You know, when, when we saw pictures of Hurricane Ida and the winds that were coming through, it brought back such memories about um, all the experiences that we went through during that fateful day of August 29th, 2021. And we remember, the, we remember the winds, we remember all the damage, but we also remember how all of our community came together to help each other uh, with water and food and gasoline and ultimately help each other rebuild, which is still going on today. And we know it will take many months and many years to completely recover. On Thursday, June 1st, Bayou Community Foundation will dedicate our 24th home that we have built uh, with our Amish volunteers from MDS Storm Aid in Dulac. Uh, the impact has been tremendous and so many families are back home because of this wonderful program rooted in volunteerism and philanthropy. And we are also very, very excited to announce that our friends with MDS Storm Aid will be moving with us to La Rose in October and we're going to be able to expand our Rebuild South Lafourche and Rebuild Grand Isle programs um, beginning in October so we can build new homes for people who lost everything in La Rose, Cutoff, Golden Meadow, Galliano, and in Grand Isle.